Cheers, what it is, what it ain't. It's yours truly, Liquid Cash, and right now, y'all watching the YouTube series, The Power of Thought. And um, if you got the book, you can follow along. If you don't got the book, shame on you. You need to get this book, it's called The Power of Thought. In this book, I teach you to, you know, the fundamentals of how to be, do, and have anything and everything you want in your life. It's your thoughts that create abundance for you. Change your mind and you can change your life. Because if you continue to think like you've always thought, you continue to get what you've always got. Now check this out before I get into this book. I like to let y'all know that I'm giving away three. It's gonna be a free PDF file that's in the description below. And I'm giving y'all three of my top books that I read on a daily basis that keep my mind in a positive perspective. These three books are, man, these are definitely giants in my library. These are the three books that you should definitely add to your library list. You should read every day. You can download it for free in, my, in the description below. It's gonna be a PDF file, simple, easy. You can purchase the books on Amazon or wherever you wanna purchase the books at, all right? But listen, if you got this book, you can follow along with me. I'm gonna start where I left off at. We still on chapter one, and we're gonna get into it, all right? Check this out. Growing up, I knew guys that live in Harlem who never went to Brooklyn, and guys that live in Queens that never went to Harlem. You would think these places was hundreds and thousands of miles away from each other, but they're not. But because we get so comfortable in our environment, we're scared to get, up our, get out of our bubble that we, we create for ourselves, and in return, we become prisoners to our own neighborhoods on a 24-hour lockdown. Now, how much of us are a victim of that? Where we create a bubble for ourselves in our own neighborhoods and we're on a 24 hour lockdown. And I know for me, I can relate to that because when I was coming up in the Bahamas, when I had friends that live in suburban areas, nice clean areas where the grass was cut, you know what I'm saying? They had a real basketball court. Cause I know in the hood where I came up at, we used to shoot basketballs and we had a, a, a milk carton and that was the basketball rim, and we had to make it happen, you did? So when I used to go to the suburban areas where my homeboys used to live at, I used to feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? I used to feel like out of place. I felt good when I went back to the hood. I felt like I was at home. I felt I, I was at, at peace. And in the hood, most of the times, we only trying to, you know, you know, think of negative things to do. You know what I mean? Get in trouble, do a lot of mischievous things and stuff like that, but that was comfortable for me. That was normal for me. To be in a suburban area where everything is kind of peachy, and, you know, peaches and cream and all that, it just felt boring, you know what I mean? And I like the excitement of being in the hood. And a lot of times we create that prisoner type of environment for ourselves where we can't see ourselves out of the norm or of the cycle that we're used to. And I know a lot of us suffer from that where, where, we, where we live somewhere, we've been there so long, and we're so comfortable with that environment, whether we have, we have a negative time or we have an uptime in that environment where things are going great and things are going bad, there's a constant roller coaster, we can't get off that ride, we stuck on that ride. It's like we, we're caught up in this thing called hypnotic rhythm. We move into the beat of negative drums, you know what I'm saying? And we don't wanna get out of that bubble. So. It's important that you understand that if you live somewhere and you're not prospering in that area and in that environment, the neighbor is dealing with stress, you're dealing with stress, the person that's living up top of you is dealing with stress, the person that's living below you is dealing with stress, y'all caught up in a negative cycle. It's nothing, it's nothing but negativity around that whole environment, so ain't nothing going to happen positive for you. So it's important for you to understand this and move out of that environment and get around somewhere that's more positive and prosperous and that's gonna bring a no nothing but a positive flow to you. You know what I mean? So we don't wanna get trapped and caught up in that negative cycle. It's kinda of like the story of, um, you know, the elephant that's in the circus. I don't know if any of y'all have been to a circus before, but I have. And in a the circus, they have an elephant, right? And if you ever notice at a circus, the elephant Ankles is tied to a small chain, which is connected to a small peg in the, in, in the concrete, right? Now, this elephant is a huge elephant. I'm talking about way damn near 400 tons or whatever, you know what I mean? 
And for some reason, when I'm at a circus, I'm always thinking in my mind, like, if this elephant could actually break free and actually trump, uh, uh, kind of like run rampant all over the damn circus and kill everybody inside of the circus. That's what I'm thinking about in my mind, because I'm like, this is a small chain that he's connected to. So I always try to, I always wondered as a kid how they maintain to keep the elephant, you know, confide in this particular area, and he doesn't, you know, act all wild or crazy and try to escape. And as I got older, I kind of learned how that actually happens. They train the elephant at a young age. When the yellow, when the elephant is young and small, and you know, they and he's growing. They actually tie the elephant ankles up to a big chain that is connected to a big peg that's covered in concrete. And because the elephant is young, he's trying to escape and he's trying to get away and he's trying to just break free of this chain, but he's can't but he can't break free of the chain because the chain is huge and he's a small elephant. So this goes on for weeks and sometimes it goes on for months until the elephant decides to say in his small brain, say, you know what, I can't break free. I can't get out because every time I try to break free and I reach a certain point, there's always a resistance. There's always something blocking me. There's always something stopping me. There's this chain that's connected to my ankles. So as the elephant grow up and he gets bigger in size, even if he move one feet away from the chain that he's connected to and he feels an inch of resistance, he stopped because in his mind he thinks he's he can't break free. So he's mentally in captivity, and a lot of us are mentally in captivity, where we think we have the capabilities and the powers to break free out of the environment that we're in, but because we've been trained mentally and we've been we we we're, we're faced with a certain resistance, we feel like you know what. Fuck it. Every time I try to make progress, I'm always meet with resistance and people trying to stop me and people trying to block me. So we we just give up. You know what I mean? We get we get to that point where we fed up and we feel like, you know what, we can't break free. It's not possible for me. You know what I mean? We're mental we're, we're mental uh captivity. And a lot of us suffer from that, you know what I mean? But we have the capabilities and the powers to be, do, and have anything we want out of this life. You just gotta be able to escape out of the bubble that you're in. Create new environments for yourself and think that you can make it out of the environment that you're in. And I guarantee you that will make a drastic change in your life. And you'll see more positive things happen in your life. Check this out. Growing up, me, I had a single father who worked six days a week and nine hours a day. He really didn't have the time to teach us much, much about life. But the one thing I never forget that my father did that stuck with me to this day, he took us on family vacations every summer. And every summer we went on family vacations. And these family vacations was very important for me because it expanded my imagination, expanded my horizon, expanded my mind, and I started thinking outside of the box. I started thinking like, you know what? My little island that I was in, you know, it, it, that wasn't that wasn't it. You know what I'm saying? It was more to see. There was more to life. So when I went on a family vacation to New York and I visited my aunt, I said, man, this is something that I wanna experience every day. This is some place I wanna be at on a consistent basis. So as soon as I graduated high school, that's the first thing I did. I moved to New York and I experienced life on a different level. Now, New York wasn't the most friendly place in the world, but it was better than the Bahamas at the time because I was surrounded around nothing but negative energy. I was only getting in trouble. So if I didn't actually leave the Bahamas the time that I left, I would have, I would have either been dead or in jail because I, I, I would end up killing somebody or somebody would end up killing me. And that's because all the negative energy that was surrounding me at the time, I was only getting in trouble. I was only dealing with mischief and, and, and it was just negative energy on a constant basis. You know what I mean? So it was important that I went on those trips. So it's important for you to travel outside of your environment. It's important for you to go to that next state. Now, you don't even have to know nobody in that, that particular state. Just go and travel and see the world and see other parts of the globe. There's a big world out here. God made everything, uh, 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 you know, 
this is it's a big world. He made he made different parts of the world for us to travel and explore. You know what I mean? So I'm a firm believer if you live somewhere and you you grew up there and you stayed there your whole life, you're not living, you're surviving. You should always be ready to travel and see other parts of the globe and live other places to experience other things, eat different food, talk to different type of people and explore your options. And you never know, man, it could work out for you in a positive way. It worked out for me in a positive way, you did. Cheers to that. There's so much more to life than what we know. I was fortunate enough because I was curious enough and brave enough to make a drastic transition, such as leaving a small island with a population of only 60,000 people at the time to a big city like New York with the populations of millions of people. It was scary and I did not know how I was gonna make it, but I embraced the unknown and I knew one thing for sure, I would be dead or in jail if I stayed in the Bahamas because of the negative environment that I was in at the time. Although New York wasn't the most friendliest place in the world, I knew the opportunities was endless, so I took the chance. What I came to realize when you grow up in poverty, the people you grow up around are dealing with the same issues. So they're struggling with the same type of insecurity. Self-hate combined with stressful living conditions can cause them to lash out and act out in a negative way. Most of the time releasing their energy by conflicting violence onto another kid who he feels might have a little, a little more than he does. Not knowing that same kid is dealing with the exact same issues. It's sad, but this is something that we go through, we go through uh, in the ghettos and all throughout the world. You know, we have to sympathize with each other and understand that trying to pull someone else down just so you can feel good about yourself is not the way to go. That crab in the bucket mentality is a disease and we have to dig deep into our inner self and find the cure. And that's important. That crab in the bucket mentality is truly a disease and we have to get rid of that. We have to understand that, you know, we all are in this together. We are all one collective consciousness. If I grow, you grow, you know what I mean? So we have to always be striving to be our best, the best version of ourselves. Because if you're vibrating the positive energy, you can actually walk into a room with 10 negative people who's vibrating negative energy and you can walk in that room and change their vibration for the better. Your energy can permeate that whole room and change the directory of their energy. You did? That's by you changing yourself. Instead of going in that negative room and adapting to that negative energy that they're, in, you know, kind of like embracing and kind of like, you know, just soaking themselves up into. You can come in and change that whole vibration just by you being positive. So it's important that you download the PDF that I have in the description below. Get these three books. These three books is going to help you to stay in a positive mind frame. You have to constantly sharpen your acts. What I mean by that is constantly sharpen your mind. You know what I mean? We're bombarded with negative frequencies and negative vibrations every day from all type of different directions. So you always want to be able to clear your mind, clear your energy, and clear your space and bring positive energy into your life on a constant basis. I'm always reading. I'm always listening to audio books. I'm always giving recognition and it's receiving recognition and giving praises to people who are excelling in life. You did? It doesn't take nothing away from me for praising somebody else that's doing good, that's doing positive, and that's being positive and acknowledging their accomplishments. You did? So it's important that y'all understand, keep a positive vibration, keep a positive mind frame, be able to see yourself outside of the confinements of your own bubble that you created for yourself, you know what I mean? A lot of us is on a 24 hour lockdown, you know, can't get outside of that box, can't get outside of our comfort zone. Be willing to get out of your comfort zone. Be willing to see the world and travel the world. Don't let your friends hold you back. Don't let nobody stop you from seeing what Chicago is like. Don't let the news 
tell you about all the negative things that's happening in Chicago and you 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 don't want to take a chance to go visit. Chicago's a beautiful place in the summertime. They got some great food, they got some great festivals out there in Chicago in the summertime. Check it out. There's great places in New York City, there's great places in Boston, there's great places in um, uh, Minnesota, there's beautiful places in uh, you know Seattle, Utah. Travel outside of your comfort zone, go see the world, see what other places have to offer, and make a decision to say, you know what? I've been living in this particular area for this amount of time. I think it's time for me to go check out Atlanta. Let me go live in Atlanta for a year or two. See how that go. You never know what can happen, man. Chase your opportunities, chase, chase your dreams, chase the things that you want to get out of life, you dig? It's yours truly live with cash. And like I always say, hey man, listen, what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. Change the way you think and you can change your whole life. It's that simple. Hey listen, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's your truly live with cash and we're power of thought, you know what I mean? This is where we're getting our information from. If you don't got this book, like I said again, shame on you. You need to go get it. It's on my website, www.liquidcash.com, L-I-K-Q-U-I-D-C-A-S-H. And uh, this book is going to teach you how to be, do, and have anything and everything you want out of your life. It's your, it's your thoughts that create abundance for you. Change your mind and you can change your life. It's your choice. Liquid Cash. Cheers.